ni Brother Adri for 18 years. Sino pa po ba may tatagal pa po? More than 18 years, taas ang kamay. Eh siguro kami po pala yung example na may persistent prayer. Amen po. 18 years. And we are still persisting in prayer. Sabi ko nga hanggat hindi naririto si dreams sa harapan na ito, we will never stop praying. Amen? So, meron tayong mga long-standing prayer requests. And ang tanong, what have we done to achieve that request? Ano yung part mo? Do you have a part para mangyari yung request na yun? Mangyari yung prayer na pinagpipray mo. You, you have that burden for a long, long time. But do you have a part? Amen. Lagi, lagi naman tayong may part. Amen po ba? Ginagawa po ba natin yung part natin? O pinagkakatiwala na lang natin sa Lord. <coughs> Lahat ba'y nasa Kanya? So as we go along, I just wanted you to think of that prayer request. Ang tanong, pinagpapray mo pa ba? Or are you given up? Nag-give up ka na? Ang tagal na? Baka hindi ito sasagutin ni Lord. Baka hindi ito, baka ayaw ito ni Lord. Ganun po ba? Nag-give up na po ba tayo? Doon sa matagal na natin ipinapanalangin. Or maybe, this is the time we are going to be reminded again to pray it once again. Amen, Amen po? Eh, hindi pala. Hindi pa pala tapos si Lord. Amen po ba? Ipagpe-pray ko ulit. Amen po? So, ang ating pong uh, text is in the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 5 to 13. So, I just wanted to read it one by one. Para malinis po. Sabi po ng verse 5. Yeah. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, let me three loaves of bread. Verse 6. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, shameless persistence, boldness, persistence, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. Verse 9. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of, your, which of you, fathers, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? That's a question, no? So if he asks for an egg, will, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are even know how to give good, good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. Naintindihan po natin yung kwento, yung parable. 
Amen po? So ito po yung ating pag-aaralan. So what is a persistent hope? A persistent hope, ano nga po ba ito? At ito po yung ating pagbubulay-bulayan. So ang tanong is how persistent are you to get the answers to your prayer? Gaano ka ka-persistent na makuha mo yung matagal mo nang ipinagpepre? Persistent po ba tayo na manalangin? Persistent po ba tayo na laging lumapit sa Diyos upang makuha po natin yung ating mga panalangin? Para bang yan lang ay panliligaw No? Gusto mong makamit yung matamis na oo. So habang tumatagal, lalo kang nagiging persistent. Amen po ba? Madaling ikumpara lagi eh, pag patungkol sa pag-ibig. Ano po? Parang lahat ay nakakarilay. Na pag sinabi natin pag-ibig, when you are courting someone, you are nagiging persistent ka habang tumatagal. Kasi alam mo, habang tumatagal, lalong lumalapit ang kasagutan. Amen po ba? Habang tumatagal, alam mo na, ay, lalo ka nang napapalapit dun sa iyong nililigawan. So, ibig sabihin, mas, mas malapit na yung oo na hinihingi mo. Di ba, mas lalo kang nagiging excited. Dapat in prayer is the, in the same thing din. Na nagiging excited ka habang tumatagal, dahil ano mong palapit ng palapit. The answers to your prayer is getting nearer and nearer and nearer. Amen po ba? Amen. So what is persistent hope? Doon sa ating pong binasa at pinag-aralan kanina. Yung binasa natin na text. What is persistent hope? Number one, three things na ating pong pag-aaralan. No po? Number one, a persistent hope flows out of relationship and fellowship with our Heavenly Father. No? Yung persistent hope, ito ay nag-flow out, nanggagaling, may pinanggagalingan. Kung bakit ka persistent na manalangin, dahil may relasyon ka at laging fellowship, may close relationship ka dun sa iyong tinatawagan. Amen po ba? Kasi mahirap namang manalangin na hindi mo kilala yung iyong pinapagprayan. Amen po ba? It's not it's 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 not easy to be persistent kapag wala kang relasyon sa isa yung Diyos. 'Di ba? Kahit naman sino, bakit maraming tao ang hindi nakakapagpray? Because they do not have that relationship. They do not have that fellowship with God, the Father. Amen? On this, sa ating pong binasa kanina, there are three kinds of relationship na binigyan tayo ng example in the parable. What is the first one? Ne next, Josh. Ano yung unang relationship? The relationship of a friend? The friend to his friend. Di po ba? Sabi niya doon. Sabi niya, Oh. That's it. <laughs> so the friend to his friend. Amen po? Yung unang relasyon. Ano yun? Sabi niya, yung kaibigan pumunta na midnight. Sino ba dito ang pala kaibigan? Marami. Merong, hindi pala kaibigan eh, no? May sariling mundo. Contento na dun sa bahay lang. Sino ba yung mga gano'n? <laughs> yung contento na sa bahay lang. Kahit walang kaibigan. Ang kaibigan niya, pamilya niya. Di ba may taong gano'n? Hindi naman lahat friendly. Hindi naman lahat katulad ni Brother Aldrin. Lahat ng makita niya sa daan, kaibigan niya. Parang isang taon na silang magkakilala. Eh, they just met nung araw na yun. 
No. So, the friend to his friend. Anong nangyari? Sabi doon, anong ginawa? Nung kaibigan. Sabi ni Tintin, gumagano si Tintin. Not on the midnight. May pangangailangan siya. Amen po? The friend has need. And because she doesn't have food to offer to his friend, wala siyang choice. Pupunta siya sa isang kaibigan. To get some bread. But it is midnight. Sabi ng kwento, it is midnight. Right? So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Pagkaibigan mo, kaya mong lapitan sa kahit na anong oras, this oras ng gabi. Amen po. Kaya mong kumatok. You have that boldness to come because you have that established relationship. Magkaibigan kayo eh. O ano ba yung, ano pa ba yung uh, reason na kayo magkaibigan kung hindi ka kaya nilapitan? In times, friends are friends not because of happiness and good times. We are friends because it is good and well. Everything is happy. Magkaibigan tayo. Pero pag may kailangan ka na, hindi na tayo magkaibigan, ha? Is that what friends for? Wala po. Sabi sa parable, pumunta siya sa kaibigan. And that friend was so bold. Katukay ng pinto. Talagang ibang ang pinto. Mayroon akong pangangailangan. Amen? Mayroon kang kailangan. Kailangan mong lumapit sa isang kaibigan. At ang isang kaibigan ay maaasahan. Amen po ba? Amen. Sa gitna ng pangangailangan. Anong sabi nung, nung Proverbs chapter 18 verse 24? One who has unreliable friend will come to ruin. Pag ang kaibigan mo ay unreliable, eh, mapapahamak tayo dyan. Amen po ba? Kaya yung kaibigan pinipili po eh. Amen? Amen? Sabi nga eh, sabihin mo sa akin kung sino yung mga kaibigan mo. And I will tell you who you are. The sorts of friends you will go together is the same feather that clocks together. Amen po? Usually, pare-pareho yan. Pare-pareho kayo ng gusto. Meron kayong pagkaka-pare-pareho. Amen po? So sabi daw, there is a friend who sticks like a brother. Ang palad mo kung ikaw ay may kaibigang tunay. Amen po? Ang palad mo kung ikaw ay may neighbor na maaasahan. Pag wala kang, pag wala kang suka, pupunta ka sa iyong neighbor, no, Ria? <laughs> Pwede mong katukin. At sabihin, wala akong suka. Can I have some of your vinegar? No? Wala akong ganito. Can I have some of this? So that is, yung ganun yung kaibigan. Hindi lamang nagluluto ka and you share your food. Amen? Even, you ask some of the ingredients <laughs> para sa pagluluto. Amen po? Ganun po yung kaibigan. So, this is one na binigyan ng Panginoon because a persistent hope flows out from relationship and fellowship with our Heavenly Father. At binigyan niya ito ng example sa earth. Sabi nga na rin, ang parable is used para tayo makarelate in our day-to-day -day living. Why did the Lord use the parable? For us to understand it. In our level, day to day, na ginagawa natin sa bawat araw, makarelate tayo. No? So the second is the son to his earthly father. Nangihingi daw ng ano? Nangihingi ng? Anong hinihingi niya? Egg. Nangihingi ng egg? At ano ba yung isang hinihingi? Fish. 
or egg. Nangihingi. Kung ang anak niyo ba ay nangihingi daw ng fish or egg, would you give your son scorpions or snake? Para ipakain sa anak niya, oh, ito ang scorpion. How evil is that? That your, your son or your daughter is hungry and say, Dad, can I have fish or egg? And inahin mo, scorpion at ahas. No? Wala pong magulang na ganun. No, when you ask something, we'll give you something that would harm your children or even kill your children. Amen po? So this is about relationship. And if you can see from friend to his friend relationship, and son to his earthly father, the relationship is getting deeper and closer. Amen? Dati sa kaibigan lang, ngayon sa blood relationship na. And then, the final one, na klase ng relationship na binibigyan tayo, ng example, to be persistent, na kapag humihingi ka sa isang kaibigan, ibibigay sa iyo. Pag humihingi ka sa iyong pamilya, ibibigay sa iyo. Tutugunin ka, aabutin ka. Eh, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Luke 11.30, that tayo who are evil knows how to give good things to our children. How about our Heavenly Father? Will He not give us the Holy Spirit every time we ask? Amen? Alam niyo, minsan we ask for so many things. Material things, normally, ang atin pong hinihingi. Everything is material. But we have forgotten the most important gift and need na kinakailangan natin as a believer is the Holy Spirit of God. Yung Holy Spirit na po yung greatest gift natin. Pero do we ask the Holy Spirit every day? Lord, give us your Spirit. Sabi, when we walk with God's Spirit, sabi niya, so that, when we pray that, so that we will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Can you imagine, when you have the Holy Spirit and walk with the Holy Spirit, you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So, yung, yung minanais ng flesh, naku, ang dami pa man din minanais ng flesh. Anything that is against the Holy Spirit, anything that is against the will of God, anything that opposes the Holy Spirit is about the flesh. And we, if we forget, no, nakakalimutan natin na hindi ang banal na spirito sa bawat araw. Amen po? So, sabi ng point one, persistent hope flows out from our relationship and fellowship with our Heavenly Father. Alam niyo dun sa binasa natin sa Luke chapter 1, Luke chapter 11 verse 1 to 2, sabi doon, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You know, ito eh, yung relasyon mo sa Diyos. Our Heavenly Father. Our Father in heaven. Alam niyo po, prayer. Yung prayer po, our initial approach in prayer. Our initial approach in prayer is in a matter of relationship with our Heavenly Father. Kaya nagsimula doon eh, our Father, our loving Father. Doon nagsisimula ang ating pagtawag. Kaya alam niyo, pag nagpe-pray ka pa lamang, you can really sense. Nagsisimula ka pa lamang manalangin, you can really sense the presence of God. Because alam mo sa puso mo, that when you pray, it's about your relationship with God eh. Di po ba? Kaya nga kanina sinasabi natin na 
at tinatanong natin, bakit mahirap mag-pray? Bakit nahihirapan tayong mag-pray? Baka yung ating puso ay malayo na sa ating Panginoon. Amen? That fellowship, that close relationship ay unti-unti na lumalayo. Ano po? Kaya mahirap na para sa atin ang manalangin. Amen po ba? I know there is struggle in prayer. I'm not saying na lagi tayo on the go to pray. Amen? There are really times na sabi nga eh, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Amen po? Kaya there is a struggle. So our bold and shameless persistence flows out of relationship and fellowship alone with our Heavenly Father. Kailangan po, it's easy. Ma-exercise po natin yung ating persistence. It is very easy when we have that relationship and fellowship. Madali eh. Pag may fellowship, no po? Pag may close relationship, kaya, kaya nga po yung iba nahihirapan mag-pray. Bakit maraming tao hindi na nanalangin? Why? Because of lack of relationship and fellowship. Amen po? So our initial approach to God in prayer is in a matter of personal relationship and fellowship. Mahirap lumapit kapag wala po tayong relation sa Diyos. Mahirap maging persistent na manalangin lagi kapag wala po yung ating relasyon at close fellowship sa ating pong Panginoon. So, prayer begins with the emphasis of our relationship with God. Kaya sabi natin, our Father. Tinatawag mo siya, our Father, because you have relationship with Him. Amen po? So, it is impossible to pray without such personal relationship with God. Mahirap. Manalangin. Kaya tayo nagigive up na isang pray pa lamang. You know, I was there, I was sitting there when when we started worshiping the Lord. And the Lord spoke into my heart and say, tell the congregation, sabi niya, Sabihin mo sa kongregasyon that meron tayong mga prayer requests for a long time. Right? It's been there for a long time. Pero, huwag tayong magtatampo kapag hindi agad sinagot ng Diyos. Because sabi niya, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Amen. Maybe, sa tingin natin ay time na, Lord, but it's not yet time for Him. The, no, the Lord knows the right and exact timing. Amen po ba? Amen. Alam na yung right time eh. Minsan, may timing tayo. But our timing is wrong timing. Amen po ba? And I was there just say, tell them. Meron po ba ditong nagtatapo? Nagtatapo sa Lord? Dahil Lord, hindi mo namang sinagot yung aking prayer. I've been praying for a long time. Dumadating pa tayo dun sa pagtatampo o pagtatanong Minsan, akala natin nagtatanong lang tayo. <laughs> akala natin tanong lang ang sinasabi natin sa Lord. Yung pala pag-voice out na ng tampo natin. Di po ba? Minsan, akala natin tinatanong lang natin, eh Lord, bakit naman? Pero yung pala nagtatampo na tayo. The Lord 
Lord said, O tayo magtampo. Because when the time is right, He will make it happen. Amen. Amen. Po, sige po, palakpakanto ng Lord. He will make it happen. And alam nyo, all things, no, He make all things beautiful Amen. in its time. Amen. It's so beautiful when it's right time. Ang ganda ng lahat. No? Even the bloom of the flowers is so beautiful in its own time. Kung ang lahat ng halaman ay may own time to bloom, to grow, in the same manner, there is always time sa ating pong mga panalangin and answer prayer. Amen po ba? So wag po tayong magtampo. 18 years we've been praying. I'm telling you. And siguro ang luha ay hindi lamang isang balde. <laughs> but alam niyo yung ayan na Nakikita mo na. Malapit na. Abot na, abot na. Amen? So you still persist until it happen. Magpipersist ka. Because you imagine, 18 years, sasabihin niyo po siguro, oh, 5 years, I will give you deadline. <laughs> Sabihin mo ganon, Lord, deadline, five years, stop. Titigil ka na, no? 18 years. And I can really say, and I can really testify, persistency in prayer. Amen. Amen. Ayan na, malapit na. Malapit na malapit na. And I know it's at hand. And it is, it is in the mighty hand of God. Amen. Amen. Po. So pangalawa, what is persistent prayer? A persistent prayer, a persistent hope has a noticeably increasing intensity of clay. Anong ibig sabihin? Pag persistent ka, evident na habang tumatagal, tumataas ang level at intensity ng yung desire for the answer prayer. Kasi persistent ka eh. You are not giving up. When you are saying persistent, hope, is a hope that is not giving up. You are not giving up regardless of the difficult situation na nangyayari sa atin. Regardless of the opposition, regardless of the difficulties, you are not giving up. Amen. Hindi, ka, hindi mo ibibigay. Sabi nga Maria, it's very easy to give up. Isn't it? Yung sitwasyon mo, Sitwasyon mo sa pamilya, sitwasyon mo sa asawa mo, sitwasyon mo sa anak mo. Lahat ng klase ng difficulties. Pagpagod ka na. It's always very easy to give up. But a persistent hope is not giving up. It's a hope that is not giving up. And it's increasing as the time goes by. It is increasing in intensity of desire. Yung primo lalong tumataas. Sabi dun sa, sa ating binasa. Next slide, John. Josh. Luke 11, 1 to 2. Uh -uh. No, sorry. Not that one.
Luke 11, 9 to 10. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who, who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks the door will be open. Nakita niyo po. Sabi niyan, persistent hope is reinforced by increasing intensity of words as seek and knock. Makikita mo yung intensity niya. Seeking is obviously higher than asking. Amen? Amen. Knocking is obviously higher than seeking. Tumataas. Una humihingi ka lang. Tapos hindi ka contento. You are seeking now. And you are knocking. There is a higher increasing intensity kapag persistent ka. Persistent ka eh. You're not giving up. And you imagine yung knocking. Knocking is relates back to the parabon na yung friend nagnanak hindi lang siya humingi wala pa siguro wala pang obvious yung telepono nung panahon na yun na you, you, you can just call hello friend can I borrow some bread hindi pa sosyal nung panahon na yun hindi pa madali ang buhay pupunta ka maglalakbay ka kung neighbor mo okay lang kay Ria ilang lakad lang no but then you have to wake them up bang the door and you imagine in those days in those days sabi ng mga commentaries when they sleep the family sleep all together tabi-tabi sino ba nakaranas dito matulog ng tabi-tabi ayan Welcome to the club. Tabi-tabi tayo, di ba? Ang sarap matulog ng tabi-tabi kayong uh, all of the siblings are all lying, sleeping together. Walang tigil na harutan at asaran. Kahit uh, ano na, no? Imbis na natutulog na. May mga asaran pa, di ba? Ang sarap lang, no? You imagine those days. The commentary says, Natutulog lang sila. All together. Kaya ang sabi ng friend, do not disturb me. I and my children are in bed. Bakit na sinabi yun? Kasi the moment na he gets up, there is a possibility that all the children will be waking up also. Amen po ba? So magigising din yung mga bata. Eh kung may maligalig kang anak, nakatutulog-tulog lamang, eh di lalong nag-alboroto. Ano po, lalong nag-ingay. Eh ang hira pa man din magpatulog. And you imagine in those days, napakaraming hayo. May mga hayo, lahat ng hayo, nasa karapan ng bahay mo, sa tabi lang ng bahay mo, sa likod lang ng bahay mo. You imagine that. And you are going to your friends, knocking and banging the door. So you are waking up the whole household. Amen? You are waking up the whole, whole household. But you imagine that is what persistence is. No? May confident ka kasi nga kaibigan mo. Pero that increasing intensity of plea, humihingi ka habang tumatagal, lalo kang lumalapit sa Diyos, tumataas ang level ng intensity ng iyong pananalangin and desire na tugunin ng Diyos ang iyong mga pananalangin. Na ihain sa Diyos ang iyong pananalangin. Amen po ba? I just wanted to read the book of Mark. Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52. This is the story of Bartimaeus, the blind man. Sino nakakaalala kay Bartimaeus, the blind man? Amen. Amen. 
45. Then they came to Jericho as Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting on the roadside begging. Ano si Bartimaeus? Blind. Blind man. So, wala siyang trabaho. Meron pala. Anong trabaho ni Bartimaeus? Mag-beg. Kasi hindi siya makakapagtrabaho. He's bulag. He's blind. So he's, for him to live, he has to beg. Okay? Next, please. When he heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. You imagine in the time of Jesus, remember when Jesus, um, during the time when the, the woman who was bleeding for how many years? 12 years. 12 years, 12 years siyang bleed. Sabi ni Jesus, when the woman, when the when woman touched yung, 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 yung cloak, yung hem ng kanyang cloak, sabi niya, power gone out of him. Sabi niya, someone touch me. Sabi ng mga disciples, how do you know that someone has touched you? Eh, ang dami namin tao dito. You imagine, every time Jesus, where Jesus is, there is a lot of people. Right? So, in this situation, is the same. Marami. Kaya sabi niya, many rebuke Bartimaeus. Sabi niya, tumigil ka. He was, uh, they were asking him to stop and call for Jesus. Pero ano ginawa ni Bartimaeus? Sabi niya, but he shouted all the more. Amen? He shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him, call him. So they called to the blind man, cheer up on your feet. He's calling you, throwing his cloak aside and jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want to do for me? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. And 52, go, Jesus said, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the way. Bartimaeus called Jesus. Nung siya ay inista, lalo niyang nilakasan. Amen? There are so many things that would stop us to come to Jesus. No? Pero dapat, habang tumatagal, sabi ni Bartimaeus, this is my chance. Obviously, he heard how Jesus healed many. How Jesus did miracles. Sabi niya, it is my chance. No? Kaya naman nila kasay niya lalo ang kanyang boses. Amen po ba? Ganun yung persistence. Na kapag persistence, persistent ka, there is an increasing intensity. Habang tumatagal, hindi katulad natin. Habang tumatagal, ano yun? Habang tumatagal, nanghihinanan. Habang tumatagal sa ating mga pinagpe-pray, habang tumatagal ang ating mga pinagpe-pray, lalo tayong nanghihinang manalangin. Ganun po ba yun? Hello? May kausap po ba ako? Di po ba nakikita natin yung ating sarili? Na oo nga, no? Habang tumatagal, parang tayo ay pinanghihinaan ng loob na manalangin. Pero sa Bible, pag nakita po natin, habang tumatagal po, lalo pong tumitindi ang pagnanasa 